Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you uh, where these test leads go on this multimeter. And the name of this multimeter is, so the brand is, uh, I think this is pronounced Astro AI. It might be pronounced something differently. And the model number on this multimeter is AM33D. But before we begin, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And make sure that you've read through all of the information on the packaging and any information that came inside of the packaging, including the user manual, before you use your multimeter. Okay, so I was looking online this morning and they had a different version of this multimeter. It was still the same model number, AM33D. Um, but one of the things I noticed is this spot here that says COM, which is short for common. So the common spot was actually in the middle. So you need to pay attention to which version of the multimeter you have. And who knows, they may make uh, different versions in the future as well. But you need to pay attention to which version of the multimeter that you have uh, so you can plug the test leads in correctly. Okay, so I have the multimeter turned off. The dial is in the off position. And I'm going to start with the uh, red test lead. And one of the things you want to do before you plug the test leads into the multimeter is to inspect them for damage. And if there's any damage, you do not want to use them. I've already inspected both of these test leads and they're okay. Okay, so I'm going to take the red test lead first. And I'm going to plug this part of the test lead into this spot here with the symbols above it. Um, so I'm going to do that now. And you just want to make sure that the test lead is secured all the way into place. Okay, and I'm just verifying that the test lead is secured all the way into place. And then I'm just gonna move this test lead over to this side. Um, and now I'm going to take the black test lead. And now I'm going to plug this side of the black test lead into this spot right here, which says COM above it, which is short for common. So I'm going to plug the black test lead in now. And just making sure that it's secured all the way into place. Okay, and you just want to make sure that the test leads are not near anything that's going to conduct electricity. And you want to make sure that they're not touching each other. Okay, now I'm going to turn the dial to the audible continuity setting. And I'm going to test the test leads to make sure that they're functioning properly. And to test the test leads, I'm just going to touch the two tips of the test leads together and we should hear a beep from the multimeter, uh, letting me know that the test leads are functioning properly. And when you do this, you wanna keep your fingers and hands and anything else uh, behind the finger guards. Okay, so I'm going to touch the two tips of the test leads together uh, to make sure that the test leads are functioning properly. Okay, so we heard the beep, um, so the test lead should be functioning properly. Now I'm going to set the test leads down, and when you do this, um, you want to make sure that they're not near anything that's going to conduct electricity, and you want to make sure that they are not touching each other. Um, and now I'm going to turn the dial back to the off position. Okay, so the red test lead is plugged into the spot with the symbols above it. And there's only one spot on uh, this dial of this multimeter where the red test lead is going to move to the spot uh, that has 10A max above it. Um, and that spot is when DC current is being tested on the number 10 setting uh, right here. And I'm going to show you um, now so you can see that visually. 
Um, so the first thing that needs to be done is you need to make sure that the multimeter is turned off and the dial is in the off position. And now I'm going to remove the red test lead. from its current spot. Okay, so now I'm going to plug the red test lead into the spot that has 10A max above it. And you just wanna make sure that the test lead is secured all the way into place. I'm just verifying the black test lead is secured into place as well. Okay, so just above the red test lead, it says fused max 10 SEC, which is short for seconds, each 15 MIN, which is short for minutes. Um, and what that means is while DC current is being tested on uh, the number 10 setting um, and the red test lead is in the spot that it's in now that says 10A max above it um, on this multimeter. It means that the maximum amount of time that can be uh, tested is 10 seconds. And then after that, you would need to wait for 15 minutes or more before you test again. Okay. Um, so now um, I'm going to show you the, the spot on the dial uh, that correlates to um, where the red test lead is currently at. It's that spot right there. And now I'm going to turn the dial back to the off position. Okay, and when the test leads are set down, you just want to make sure that they're not near anything that's going to conduct electricity and that they're not touching each other. And now I'm going to remove the test leads from the multimeter. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. And I do have a video where I talk about uh, the different dial positions on this multimeter. And if you're interested in watching that video, I will link that video at the end of this one. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.